got this, it's like a monthly calendar where you just flip the page. I figured I could use this for my daily weigh-ins. All right, so I was 5, 15, point 0.8. All right, I can see myself getting into the 400s in just January. Keep my fingers crossed. I have to do the work though. I love that Amber does this. Like she buys these novelty items and she does it all the time. Like she loves spending money. That's what like, it's like the money just burns a hole in her pocket or something like that. And she thinks that it's going to do something, but the consistency of it is always, always inconsistent. She'll do it for what? Two weeks here? Two weeks? And I'm actually surprised she actually lasted two weeks. Two weeks is actually anomalistic for somebody like Amberlynn Reed, who literally can't even like maintain even taking her, her Ozempic for like over a month because she was overeating on it just in general by the way who's ever eaten overeaten on uh ozempic is crazy but one thing i love about amber is that she's always inconsistent about literally everything uh, i don't know why she buys so much shit like going on amazon to buy a calendar and never never using a calendar ever again normal people don't have calendars anymore and if they do um i, I go to my friend's house one time he had a calendar on the wall. And I was like, oh, wow, you still have a calendar? And he was like, I do? And he didn't even know he had it. And the calendar was like from 2016. Like this guy, he's never, he never he never bought a new one because nobody has bought a calendar in so long. It's like paper. Nobody uses paper anymore. You, nobody uses pen. For me, um, I do have a pen, but my pen is a knife. This is a knife pen. So it's like two, two for the price of one. But uh, nobody, I really can't. I can't really like write very well. My handwriting is terrible. I, like I write like Michael J. Fox. So it's always really, really bad. Like if you ever saw my signature, it's like terrible. It's disgusting. Like most people can't even comprehend what I'm writing half the time. I try really hard, you know, what do you want? So I'm just so happy that as technology has progressed, we've become more and more dependent on it, at least in, in the sense of like typing, um, because I'm better at typing, or at least I'm not very good at typing, but I'm good at like speech to text. So I'm, I'm good at articulation at least. But uh, yeah, Amberlynn Reed buying just bullshit to try to make it seem like she's actually doing something of, of progress. When in reality, she's not. She just kind of does shit. And then um, I guess seems like it doesn't work. And then she just keeps going. And then she eventually forgets about it and then orders her breeds. Okay, so now let's get into the weigh-in. So I'm looking at- I just love that we define Amber based off of the person that she's with at the time. So <laughs> here, this is like the in-between time before Tommy. By the way, um, Amber cannot be single. There has not been a single time in Amber's life where she's been single past adulthood. And uh, this is like an anomaly to see her mom at the bottom right. But even when- Amberlynn wasn't in a relationship. She was still fucking around with a whole bunch of other women. She literally said she was playing a field, which is crazy, by the way, for somebody like Amberlynn Reed to have as many options as she does. But um, she's also on the on the social media space, so a lot of people were there just to troll her. Um, but she did manage to have one of the trolls literally become a love interest. So I guess she has a way with words. I don't know. Uh, the stuff in my little uh, notebook, by the way, because so many numbers in your girl's memory is not the greatest. Just write it down in your phone, right? Just I, I don't know why Amber thinks she's so quirky. <laughs> she, she she thinks she's so quirky that she doesn't know stuff or whatever bro she she is literally the culmination of whatever is fashionable at that time and then she adopts those things because she thinks it's cool like you remember when there was like the phobia of holes or whatever um that was literally just her because she saw probably a facebook post of somebody saying the same thing and then she thought mm, that'd be cool for something like i do i don't like looking at holes sometimes so i guess that means that i must also not like looking at holes it's my phobia or whatever just self-diagnosing random bullshit or whatever because she knows that that just adds character traits to her and she doesn't have any because she's literally whatever Amber is literally a, a notebook of whoever is with her at the time. So if she's like, uh, if she's dating Tommy, she is Tommy. If she's dating Destiny, she's she is Destiny. I guess when she's her mom, she's terrible because she can't adopt any of the cultural norms from her mom because her mom is significantly better than her. I mean, obviously her mom is, you know, was a crackhead or whatever the fuck she was. But uh, I think Mama Lynn is probably a little bit more of a better influence on Amber compared to other people. But she does condone a lot of bad behavior, so I don't know. Okay, so on January 1st, I was 515.8. Damn! Last week, I was 510.4. Damn! And today, I was. So 508.8 means I am down 1.6, which means... There's no problem. I have no problem with Amber losing weight in a slow, very, very deliberate way. Dude, one, one pound a week, though? I mean, you weigh over 500 pounds. That's a big That's a big weight right there. You big as hell, and you only losing that much. I'm not going to take anything away from you. That's a little bit of weight at a time, but, you know, I guess slow and steady wins the race. Um, we haven't... 
as of the time of this making this video, we don't know what Amber looks like or like we don't know how how much she weighs because she has refused to weigh herself and she's going through a major depression right now with Tommy because she's I guess never realized that it's not actually the person that she's with that's supposed to give you happy happiness and satisfaction. You're supposed to get derive that from yourself and MK purchase purses. Um, so she just kind of like gets it from the person that she's with, which could be a temporary fix. It's like cocaine or crack or something like that. Like, I'm sure that it's good for like 10, 20, 30 minutes. But then after that, you're probably going to need to get more. And if that person doesn't have more, like they're not there to consistently fill you up with love and affection, then you're eventually going to dissipate. And I feel like for somebody like Amber, um, uh, it's never enough. Amber needs is Amber is literally 100% codependent on whoever she's with at that particular moment in time, and it really, really shows, especially the person that she's with. Um, in this whole month, I'm only down seven pounds. One month, seven pounds. Beautiful. Never used again. Makes sense. Uh, Amber just buys a whole bunch of shit. I wonder if she throws any of this stuff away, or if she just like puts it in a closet, never to see ever again. Uh, she does buy a lot of stuff, man. I like opened it and I was like, oh, okay, girl, I kind of like this. So just random notebooks. Like, <laughs> it's just, it, why? Why do you need notebooks so often, man? It's, it's so cringy that she thinks she sees a notebook and she buys it instinct instinctively and then never uses it. I actually got one for myself. You can count your calories, your fat. Yeah, you're never going to use this though. Like, it's too complicated for you. Your smooth brain self. Uh, you've been huffing too much of the Uber Eats delivery guy's exhaust pipe waiting for him to deliver your food. There's an energy meter, activity meter, a place to put your weight every day. And you're never going to use it, right? Why couldn't you just like install an app on your phone and then just have that automatically and then have it buzz or like notify you every day. So that way you could put in the information and you know what I'm talking about? There are apps that do that. So if, if that's, if you really do care about this, that would be probably the more optimal technique instead of buying a random notebook that you're literally going to write into one or two times and then never pick it up ever again. Oh, it just kind of goes to show you. Amber is never serious about herself in general. So I guess what am I what am I even talking about? Amber is literally the culmination of somebody that doesn't give a fuck about themselves. Obviously, somebody that's going to weigh 500 pounds for her consistently uh, over 10, 15 years and hit a max weight of over 600 pounds is doesn't give a fuck about themselves. So this lunch, dinner, snacks. Can you imagine literally weighing half of a ton? Cardio that you did. Didn't. I, I weighed myself. Um, big. I gained a couple pounds. Big. Definitely from like emotional eating. I love that she, she can she can just immediately hand wave it away. I gained a couple pounds from emotional eating. Amber, why is it that easy for you to just completely white hand wave your shit? Like just all the bad stuff that you've done, all of the food that you've eaten because emotional eating. Why is it that easy? Why is it that easy, Amber? Where's the consistency, bro? Where's the accountability? Man, I would love to talk to Amber Lynn Reed. Obviously, she has no incentive to ever talk to somebody like me because uh, she she would lose, obviously. The first thing we have is the weekly weigh-in. So there's 53 Sunday. 520? Oh, she wrote this. She did this January, herself. So I did 53 of these little um, rectangle moments. So every Sunday, I'm just going to put my weight. One thing I've seen. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is really gay. I can't believe she actually drew this stuff out. But... Uh, one thing I've seen is like when Amber has hobbies, like for instance, she likes building Legos, but she doesn't do anything with them. And then not only does she not do anything with them, sometimes she doesn't even complete them. Sometimes she gets started and then never finishes them, but just leaves them there and puts them in the boxes, never to be seen ever again. It, uh, Legos are really expensive. So it's really interesting to see that it's not just with Legos. It's with everything. Literally, she's inconsistent on everything. And she can, she can not in any way uh, have any type of accountability be placed on her. In here and then... This is for how much I lose. Every pound I lose, I'm gonna put a little colorful heart in here. So that's gonna be nice. My goal is to lose 120 pounds this year in 2023. So every single time I lose- Where did you find this dude? Like were you on Pinterest and somebody like wrote this down and you're like, oh my God, that's like a really good idea. Let me go ahead and spend an hour and a half drawing all this stuff in to this random notebook that I found on Etsy. And then just like try to lose weight this way. Even though I'll never have this ever again. Like she probably literally spent like an hour or two hours drawing all this stuff in. This is methodical, very, very, very like tedious work to draw all these squares and write the numbers in each one of the squares and, you know, did all the, do all the stuff that she did on the previous pages and stuff like that, only to never use it ever again is actually insane. The pound, I'm going to color in a square and then never do it. Once I reach my goal, I did it folks.
I don't know why she even shows us this shit if she's never gonna do it. Your girl, what happened to your bullet journal? So I did my bullet journal for the full year when I did it. I think it was last year or was it 2022? Lies, my memory. Lies, but I realized that keeping lies. up with a bullet journal is actually really hard. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no fucking shit. It's fucking really hard. You know why it's really hard? Because it takes consistency. And obviously somebody that doesn't do anything is, <laughs> is going to have a major problem doing anything in general. So that's why I didn't do one this year. Right. I wanted to like create a visual representation. So I have these popsicle sticks. Dude, what is up with her, bro? This is some really, this is some really gay shit. Why does Amber make herself do shit like this, bro? You're not that girl. You're really not that girl. Stop buying random things to try to make it seem like you're cool. I swear to God, our favorite page on the internet has got to be Pinterest. Okay, so each one. I haven't seen popsicle sticks since like I was in elementary school. I put a number. So there is 56 in here. And it's it's so unbelievable too, because you know she's never gonna do this. Like it's just so ridiculous to have all this stuff out to think that anybody in general is gonna do this. Like to top it off, you're not even that person. And what I'm gonna do is every time I do a weigh-in, Say I lose three pounds. I'm gonna take three of these and put them in here. Say it's one pound. I'm gonna take one of these and put them in here. And pretty soon, this cup- What if you lose no pounds? What happens? Do you spit in it? Is gonna lose the popsicle sticks while this one is gonna be gaining the popsicle sticks. It doesn't even make sense. So the reason why I numbered them, let me show you an example. Oh, look, I lost a pound. I just picked up the number 52. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it in the other glass. What is the 52 though? What does that even represent? So what I'm gonna do is I went onto Instagram and I had you okay. guys ask me tons of weight related questions. How big? And I got 56 of them. So thank you guys does so- Does she print out the, does she print out the messages or does she write them down? Why doesn't she? she I saw the other night that when she answers questions, she does write them down for some reason. I don't know why you write them down. Why don't you just instead screenshot the message and then talk about it on your video? Why do you have to make things harder for yourself? I just, I don't know why. But um, she did a Q&A today actually on her Instagram and she asked, what's something, what's, a, what's something that you wanna ask me? And I asked her if she was black. And so I uh, hope, hopefully if you see the video come up of her, and she's answering questions or whatever, like in two months, because she only uploads every month or so. Um, when the question comes up of, are you black? That was me. I asked her if she was black. So much. So since I picked up the number 52 pop popsicle sticks, I numbered these. So I'm going to go to the number 52 question. Oh, she actually wrote, she, there, there, there's actually pen and paper on that. She actually wrote down some shit only to never use it ever again. Can you imagine putting that much work into something and never using it? Right. I don't know. I'm a creative girly. You're not creative. You literally probably found this shit off Pinterest. How much you want to bet? She literally probably found I bet you I bet if you Google the same thing, popsicle popsicle sticks numbers, weight loss, I guarantee you'll probably find the same shit on like a Reddit post or like a Pinterest post or something like that, dude. Somewhere out there on Tumblr. I swear, dude, there's no way she invented this shit herself. No fucking way. I love She's not she's not creative in any way. This this girl has an inability to even make videos on a consistent basis. So absolutely she has no ability to put something like this uh, together in any way. No way. Stuff like this. I wanted like a visual representation. I also wanted to like talk more about my weight. And I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun little segment to add to my videos. Let's and you're never going to do it again. Six became a Q&A kind of moment. Like an orange moment. We have number 55. Tell me if you guys know that song. Do you feel a lot of pressure to lose weight? Okay, guys. So for day one, day one, wait, 494.2 steps, 5,587 calories, 2,345. A little flashback in time, <laughs> literally just like 12 hours ago. Uh, my weight was 494.2, and then the steps I took today was 5,586. Cap, bullshit. And the calories I had, 2,345 which was about my goal for the day so that went perfectly so i will see you guys tomorrow for day two day five no longer use the track the weight does she just toss them out does she like throw them away or do they just like where do they go i got this idea from someone on instagram to write all my weights down for the 30 days on whiteboard so i'm gonna do that so day one i was 
I can't even imagine being like in a relationship with Amber and have her do this fucking gay shit every single day and then just stop doing it and look at this whiteboard with like three days written down and going like, hey, babe, are you going to do this again? And then just never getting a response. Like every day is literally the same thing for Amber. The one thing you know she is going to do, though, is get that Uber Eats delivery because that's obvious. Food in her mouth is delicioso. Day two. It's got to be agonizing to be in a relationship with uh, with Amber, dude. Today, 497.0. She didn't even write day two. It's just day Bro, so that means I was down 1.6. So I wanna, I put day slash instead of day two. Ugh. I hate when I mess things up. Um, but yeah, I wanna put this here because I walk by this spot every single day. And I'm also writing it on paper, but this is just a way to kinda keep me more accountable. Okay, she got the six days and never went back. Damn, she gained the fucking weight. Damn. Damn, bro. Went back up to 500, dude. How much you eating in a day to even get to 500, bro? That's ridiculous. There for everyone to see. <laughs> I want to lose 160 pounds. That's never going to happen. Yeah, even the Ozempic couldn't even help you. Can you guys see that? <laughs> in 2019. So this is my goal, which is... Scary. So I want to reach. I'm left handed, so you guys can't really see me writing. Sorry. I want to reach 400 pounds. Looks like I'm about to play the violin or something. So on about day the right size. one, I was 560 pounds. Damn. And then I also weighed myself on day nine, and I was at 553.4. So, like, literally a week and a half, you only went down six pounds me down 6.6 .6 pounds How i much also you weighed myself back? today at day 13 at 553 Damn, didn't even you didn't even lose anything after four days point zero so that's down 0 0.4 why even bother counting the point four at that point like it's it's, it's completely irrelevant which is a total of seven pounds lost so that means i have 153 more pounds to go this year to reach my 160 pound weight loss good job amber Good job. Never doing anything at all. Always Amber complaining about doing stuff and never does anything. I love it. I love Amber for that, dude. The inconsistency is my favorite part about Amber. I also really don't like that. She's just a terrible person in general. Whenever I saw her, like, whenever she gets called out for anything, it's always the best. Because, like, her mental gymnastics to try to weasel herself out of that stuff is always so hilarious to watch. And because like, she can't take accountability. It's, like, real time. She's just, like, trying to deflect or, like, pivot away from everything. Manipulation Tactics 101. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in Daisy, because Daisy is a beautiful flower, and a name too. I like the name D Daisy. It's a cool name. You don't really ever hear people named Daisy anymore, so if your name is Daisy, I appreciate that. That's really great. Whoever named that for you, whether that be you or your family, whoever else, that's amazing. That's beautiful. You're fantastic. You smell great. Um, I love your ideas and your the way that you formulate sentences. It's really great. Your pronunciations, by the way, are apex. But uh, anyway, if you want to check out my social media, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 